It's me. Hello. <laughs> what, a, what a weird way to start the, the episode. I always try to get in like a quip or a nice little bit going, but this time, you know, major brain fart. Uh, we're going to be back at it again with another MTG draft. I'd like to formally apologize for the last draft, but this time I've, I'm not exaggerating. I've done research. I've Last time we talked about bread. But this time I've really harnessed what bread really means. So let's hop in there and we'll start talking about it. Bread, it's all about bombs. We pick out bombs, and, and I have other tips too. We don't, these are my tips, just, I'll just get them out there. We gotta follow bread. We gotta get bombs, which are the huge win conditions. We gotta get removal, which is the flash, burn, destroy effects. We need evasion, which are hard to block cards, aka menace or flying. We need aggro. Which is like to fill out the mana curve with creatures. And I, I looked up. They recommend 13 to 17 creatures. And then for D in the bread is duds. Bad cards or cards for sideboard. Sideboard is not super applicable because I'm a noob. Uh, and I don't really understand how to harness the sideboard correctly. But uh, other than that we have don't force colors. Let for let colors force you. And just to break that down. If, if you go in with a color in mind. You know that's. That's a bad thing from what I'm hearing. Uh, you kind of want to let the colors wash over you. Let the colors pick you. And then furthermore is to watch for color signals. So right here, color signals in this situation would be, I see a lot of blue. And that seems to be it. Maybe a lot of red too. So you would be like, oh wow, let's pick blue. But that's what everybody else is thinking. Everybody else is like, I'm going to obviously pick blue. So by watching for the color signal, there's not a lot of green, you know, there's not a lot of white. There's not any black, but I don't know if this is good enough to, to keep. It's not really a bomb. It is, it does fill out the evasion portion, but you know, we'll keep this in the back of our mind. Let's, let's think through this. So right now we're thinking white, green, or black. You know, obviously I like Druid of the Cowl. I like... Luminous Bonds a whole lot. Uh, I don't really like those. Enchant Land. When Gift of Paradise enters the battlefield, you gain 3 life. Enchanted Land has add 2 mana of any color. This seems incredible, by the way. Of any one color. Hmm. I don't know. That seems pretty damn good. Honestly? Now let's go Bonds. I, I think Bonds is really, really good. And now, see this is what I mean by don't force colors. Just because we picked one white card, if we never get another good white card, we don't have to roll it. However, I think, just looking at these cards, you know, I have this issue, I tend to judge cards first by their, their drawings. I saw this drawing, I was like, it's a good card, there's no doubt. Creatures you control gain one, plus one, plus one, gain vigilance to the end of the turn. This seems pretty good. Destroy, target, artifact, or enchantment you gain for life. This seems all right. Not enough really to be a huge thing. And we can really roll with any color as long as it's like along the lines of black or green. Stuff like that. This seems not very good at all. I've used this. It was okay. Um... This one's okay too. But come on. Angel of Dawn's cool. A Johnny's Welcome. Oh my. Take Vengeance is so good. Sleep is incredible. Nah, this this doesn't seem like my alley. This one, Strangling Sport, is also extremely good. Um, It's just kind of expensive. It's four mana. It is pretty good though. Right now I'm either Take Vengeance or Strangling Spores. I think I'm just, I'm used to it. I've used more Take Vengeance. I think we're gonna roll with Take Vengeance. Now we can see another Take Vengeance. I'm not gonna take a Basic Planes. What do you think I'm crazy? What do you think I'm crazy? Create a 2-2 two -two white. Oh, this seems pretty good. It's a, it's a four mana, basically a four mana, two body, four, four. With vigilance on each that seems pretty good rustling falcon i've seen a lot in don't flame me but i'm leaning towards this i mean you could also go into the take vengeance and i might do that too but remember we want to try to get to 13 to 17 monsters 
And first off, I mean, if we're going down the list, bombs, I, we don't have a bomb yet. Maybe this is a bomb, and I'm undervaluing, but I think, I don't think it's quite a bomb. It's not quite a win condition. Removal is the next on the list. So you, uh, uh, like, you know, if you're thinking that way, you would go take vengeance, right? Return two target creature cards from your grave with your hand, then discard a card. Um, another menace. What is this? Oh, no, nah, that seems a little too high T for me. You know what? Screw it. I like Falcon. I like mini flying boys. In Hearthstone and in Yu-Gi-Oh and stuff, I always tried, and this was a long time ago, by the way, I always tried to, you know, if I had to kill you with this 1-1 one, one mana invincible man and just kill you after 20 turns, that's the kind of way I play. So we have no whites. This is where we're going to decide what's our next color, basically, if we even need to do that. Um, this is okay, but I feel like it doesn't really fit with our deck yet. I think this card is just extremely good, like overall. Target player. I think Mind Rot sounds pretty good to me. I'm actually going to take Mind Rot. Um, I don't think Swift Claw is super good. But I could be wrong. Again, I don't really like Sovereign's Bite. This is just too expensive for me. It's either a Johnny's or Swift Claw. I think a Johnny might be better. Hmm. Yeah, let's let's go Swift Claw. Let's try something new. Let's just let's just try to apply bread. Apply bread and win games. This is not really up my alley. Oh wait, actually this this seems pretty good. Maybe I misread it the first time. Um, Walking Corpse is just okay. Bug Stomper, Bog Stomper. I don't know. Let's go Scarring. Knight's Pledge. Hmm. Isn't this, like, I don't want to offend anybody. Oh, okay. I was going to say, isn't this just a better Knight's Pledge, but this is permanent. This is only for the turn. This is, this seems okay. Well, it's one of these three, obviously. I mean, we could also go this, but I don't know. Let's go, let's go permanent. Ah, yes. Give me the, give me the zombie. Destroy target artifact. Cancel. Oh my. Dude, cancel is just so good though. But we're not going to splash blue. So let's go invoke. Sure. Give me this. What's the point of the planes? Why is it even an option? Whatever. Guess give it to me. And here. Uh, just take smelt. Give me another planes, because it's weird. Wall of Vines gets out of here. Oh, you're really going to do me dirty like that, huh? Oh, but look. A, a white-black. Dude. You know, at first I was like, oh, look, we got a planeswalker. One of the first planeswalkers I've ever gotten. And, of course, it's blue. But, no, we got a black-white vampire soldier. At the beginning of each end step, if you gain lice this turn, lice this turn you should go to the doctor. Okay, this actually seems so good with the Johnny's Welcome, by the way. I think we're on to something. Um, I think Doom Dissenter is extremely good. Yeah, I don't really see anything otherwise. Um, Angel of Dawn. Infernal Scarring. Let's see. Yeah, this, this seems to be pretty good. Allows us to have more monsters. What was that noise? Get that out of here. This is okay, I think. This is also okay. Yeah, we want more bodies. Judging by the way the stack's going. Oh my god. Target player puts top two cards of their library into the graveyard. Nah, nah, nah. Enter the battlefield. Target creature gets plus two, plus zero. Gains first strike. You gain three life. I mean, come on now. Take vengeance. Shield Mare can't be blocked by red creatures when Shield Mare enters the battlefield and becomes the target of a spell or an ability opponent controls you gain through life. That seems really, really good. This also seems pretty good, but 
What's this? This could also be good, but come on. We've seen enough red cards that we could be facing red. But it seems to be like blue's the the big one here. Duress. Dude, I love Falcon as much as the next guy. Duress seems really good. You get to get rid of some of their like removal, basically. It's a removal removal. The removal is higher up than evasion, but evasion is also important. Hmm. You know what? Falcon it up. At me later. It's looking like a sh sha chaplain. What is a chaplain? Make a stand. Creatures. Oh, that's our first seemingly win condition. We just flood his board. Well, her could be her board. Infernal scarring, sure. I doubt we're gonna use two. Give me that bad boy. Um, sh I guess we'll take it just because it's new. What's what's better, ghost form? Probably because they're gonna be running blue. Give me root snare. Okay. So, here in cage, first thing that really pops out to me. Deals damage to any target. That seems pretty good. Eh, eh. That seems okay. Maybe a little gimmicky. Chaos Wand. Target opponent exiles cards from the top of their graveyard until they exile an instant or sorcery. You may cast that card without play without paying its mana cost. Then put the exiled cards that weren't cast. Uh. Hmm. See, this seems pretty decent if someone didn't get instant or sorceries they just lose right <laughs> um but i don't know man here monsters cage is extremely nice but i feel like we're super weak can i see my my monsters let's see we got one two three four Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Okay, that's actually not too bad, so we don't have to stress too much. You know what? Let's take a cage. Somebody in the comments is going to be like, Dude, that was the best card in this entire set. What is wrong with you? Oh, easy. Easy choice easy choice oh my god okay when lena selfless champion enters the battlefield create a 1-1 one, one so white soldier sacrifice what this is the perfect card for our deck give me that holy moly when this creature dies returns the battlefield tapped under its owner's control that seems okay this also seems pretty good yeah, give me this. Now, we do kind of have some win conditions. Not really anything too huge, I think, though. When Knightly Val enters the battlefield... This seems pretty decent. I I don't know. I like Doom to Center. I also like this. This is sort of removal. This is also sort of removal, though. We only have one of them. I think we take another Bonds. Don't be mad with me, please. Aegis... I guess, eh, eh, I don't know. This just seems like it's kind of gimmicky. This is also pretty good. Let's take another flyer. Um, give me another one of these. Take vengeance. It's looking like the pick. Well, okay. You know what? We'll sideboard it, probably. But you can't say I didn't take it. Man, they're really pushing for the Sorcerer's Bite, but in charge just works better with our deck if we're going to use it or not. Uh, Get this out of here. Sure. Whatever. Okay, I, I actually feel pretty good about this. We know somewhat what we're going to cut. Like, let's see. We don't need three of these, I think. 
Maybe we need one. We'll, we'll come back to it. I don't think we need that. Uh, we'll take this out for now. If we feel like we can put it in, that'd be nice. This is kind of a win condition for us. Again, everything I'm saying is coming out of my ass. Like, I don't at all. I only started playing Magic Gathering a few months ago. So, if you're coming here for epic, epic skills, then sorry, dude. You're not going to pay the bills. Seems pretty good. I don't know about that one. Okay, so... Do we need three takes vengeances? Possibly. Take out that bad boy. Take out that. I feel like we might need two of these. Maybe not need, but would like to have. I don't need I don't need those. Get that out of here. This is nice for keeping us you know, going, keeping us drawing, because we don't really have a lot of draw. This is super gimmicky, but come on, look at him. He's a flying horse that is fighting a dragon. You can't get better than that. Mind Rot, it's like the perfect me card. I just love to sap the soul of the enemy. And if, think about it, think about it real quick. This card is just reverse draw. It's discarding, or it's drawing negatively by making them not draw if neither of us have zero it's the same if both of us have seven cards in our hand both of us have zero cards in our hand that's the way i look at it boy uh blood letter i don't know it's basically our only flyer besides my my sons <laughs> uh and i'm thinking if we get rid of a falcon might as well get rid of the lean and vanguard but come on come on now bud Get the get the pledge out, I think. Hmm. That noise was not my phone like vibrating, that was just my face. Cancel. Yeah, sure. Just give me a cooler looking plants. Do we want only four swamp? Yeah, we do actually, because we only need one darkness. Only need one darkness. If you gain life this turn, I mean, come on, we gain enough life. Let's make it work. Do we have any other cards that gain life? Yeah, and we do need draw. Crap. Get rid of the scarring. At least one scarring. Maybe two scarrings. Don't get mad at me. I'm. This is like the worst part for me. I feel like we get given gold and then we turn it into like a plunger. If we did that, if we got rid of the swift claw, how many monsters would we have? We'd have 15. That to me is stretching it. But that's the lowest I feel like going, right? Um. And it tends to go f heavy. Wait, this guy's only... Never mind. Add him back to the deck. I didn't know he's only one mana. Only one mana. I might have gotten too crazy with get rid of this get rid of this get rid of this now you know what no I'm keeping him he's cool but he's kind of expensive it's two mana I don't know, man. But you can do it on the enemy turn. <sighs> Get that out of here. Well, 
one life for each creature you control. Do we really need... Yeah, I think Shield Mirror is just really good. I think this Menace Man is alright too. Maybe not. Because if we're going to get expensive, we're going to use these guys, you know? And with that, maybe get rid of one planes, but I don't know, man. I don't like getting rid of planes because we've been, we've been in that situation before where we've been freaking wrecked. Yeah, if we're only going to have three swamps, think about it. He's cheap, but he, he requires a swamp. So we're going to have to, we're going to have a three in 40 chance to be able to play him. Now get that out of here. And let's see, what's the coolest guy we have? What's the card that, that really makes you think about this deck? Rustwing Falcon. Um, I summon an even bigger Falcon. There we go. All right. Okay. Shorten it to I summon an even big. All right, boys. We're getting in there. I feel confident. I run a black-white deck on my own free time. And I, I like black and white. Except when you punch me and you make me black and white. No, it's not. It's black and blue. But we're going to get in there. I, I'm confident. But I've been confident before and, and pooped on. So... Just grabbing a little sippy sippy. Lola's 13. Let's hope he's 13 years old. Because 13 year olds can't read. <laughs> Alright. Well. Don't even have to think about it. I like what I see. You got. You got this turn 1. This turn 2. This turn 3. Make that bigger. Strike. And then he just loses on turn 3. Don't at me. Easy keep. If you get a Johnny's in the first hand. Keep. You could have seven planes and or seven swamps, a freaking red monster, and a Johnny's Welcome. I'm keeping that shit. Okay. Oh, look. We're facing a blue deck. Who would have thought? You're genius. It's all about the power of the sticky notes, baby. Woo! Sticky notes. I'm excited. If, if this is the best one run yet, we're in there. Excuse me? Don't you ever copy my hand again. Except I just did it better. I'm wearing those new Nikes. You're wearing water lows. You know what I'm saying? All we need is more planes. All we need is more planes. You know what? This is going to sound dumb. Summon on your... Summon later. What are you doing? But I want that... I want that extra health. Give me that fat... That fatty. What are you going to do, bud? You going to defend? You going to defend me? That's what I thought. Too powerful. Look at this. I'm accruing the health lead to end all health leads. And then this is going to give me another fat health lead. What you got? What you got, Shuggy? You ain't got nothing. Just concede. It's all ogre. I'm attacking with both of these. Excuse me? He really just luminous my daybreak. He just luminous my day my daybreak. You know what I'm thinking? Maybe we don't do this this turn. Let's attack and see what he does. Okay. How about this? Take that one, bud. Now get out of my sight. I'm ashamed to be your opponent. Ooh. Daddy's got a new pair of white cards. Well, obviously you're thinking like, now we should have saved it. Give me that fat or health. Uh, it's, it's one for each one. Yeah, but we also got a Johnny's and we got this bad boy. And you know what? You know what? Attack. Defend him. I'd like to see you try. 
You can't defend shit. Especially not white shit. Bird poop is what I'm talking about because we run a bird deck. Where are my birds? Right here. Right here. She got wings. She a bird. She flying. What else flies? Birds. That's all I gotta say about that one. This is the toughest decision this man's ever had to make. Okay. Is he splitting the difference? Nope. He's, he's going all in. He pushed his chips to the middle. He's going all in. I respect it. But in, you know what you do when you respect something? You smack it. You respect it, you smack it. Boop, boop. I gave him the old bitch slap. So I'm a little nervous about our hand. But it's all good. This is like fire. Excuse this guy. He's watching my video even though it hasn't come out yet. Stop copying my cards, you weirdo. Defend. I would I run it in? Mm, I don't think so. I hate you. Attack. I, I'd like to see you try. I know, use it on the second main phase, but I'm sorry. I just can't help myself. See, this is the plan. If you... It's so mind-blowing. He's going to defend. Then next turn, he's going to attack. And then I'm going to take vengeance upon him. Unless he summons an even bigger angel. Nope, that is not a bigger angel. Oh my god, he has nothing he can defend. Excuse me? Why didn't you attack? Well, this is awkward. Uh. Well, I, I guess we just pass the turn. Okie dokie then. This is going to stall out a little bit. We took all the line breakers we passed up. He was like... Mm. Give me the elephants. Well, this is easy. Bada bing, bada boom. Next up, get that guy out of here. And you know what? Attack with both. I don't care if you trade. Trade me. Trade me! And end the phase. Has he summoned a blue man yet? No? Well, we haven't summoned a black man. A black man. Uh, yeah, we should be careful what we say. Because the black man is here. But we have uh, we have nothing to play him with. Which is the problem I was afraid of. You know what? Bada bing, bada boom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See if I care. Bonds me, baby. James bonds me. Just, def just surrender. Oh, oh, baby, it's the Falcon. It's the Falcon. Now we just need our win condition. We need our big money baller, and then things will get nice and smooth. Nice and smooth. Okay, what you got? What you got? What are they selling? Mentors! Okay. Interesting. We're gonna do something like that. You can't defend them both there, bud. Can't defend them both. Smart choice. I would have made the same choice. If I was bad. <laughs> Got him. No, I actually, I don't know. I think that was the right choice. Whoa. Okay. Ote. <laughs> he summons his strongest card. I summon my strongest card. What you got now? Now do we attack with both flying men? I think... I think you... I think you don't. Okay. This is still anybody's game. That's the beauty of Magic the Gathering. Is health is just a resource. He, uh, we may have a million times. Oh, never mind. We win. We don't have any darkness. 
shoot. Um. Yeah, attack with both. Just wear them down. Honestly, just wear them down. One by one, they run. Buff them. Try to take down my falcon. I dare you. I double, I triple dog dare you. I triple horse dare you. Pegasus? He's a Pegasus. He's not a horse. That's animalist. Oh my god. It's the swift claw. Frilled, I would attack with Frilled if I was you. If I were you. But he's worried he might need a defender. I respect that, but I would not make the same play. You know, you're making this real hard on me. I'm nervous he might have that card that we had that's just like, give all your guys a million damage and beat the enemy up. All we need is one measly Ronald Weasley, and then we can summon the Regal Blood Lord, which is pretty dang good. What the hell? Uh, wait, there's no cleansers on anybody. I mean, there's no, there's no tokens or counters. There's no counters. So this card's just a one, it's just a body. Smart. Me Mentor the Meek would have been real good for us. NGL. Oh, man. There's four darkness in there. You know, next turn, we learn from this. Next time we play, we, we summon a black. We add a black to our hand. Okay. Anticipate. I'm anticipating your demise. <laughs> defend i will wear you down wear and tear that's the name of this deck no it's i will summon even big oh lord things are looking down but it's okay because we still have the falcons yes i don't need him attacking every single turn by the way Sorry to sorry to let you know. Oh, we could have used it on him and just gotten two damage in each turn. That might be dumb, but it would just make it so instead of taking four more turns to kill him, we take two more turns to kill him, which in the end doesn't really matter that much because by two more turns we should have one black card. What, what are they called? Swamps? I should start calling them swamps instead of black cards because it just seems noobish. <clears throat> But at the same time, I do think maybe it was smart to use it on him. Yeah. It's all good. It's all good, baby, baby. If we lose... You know, this is the other thing. About my last video, my last draft, every single game, there was like one big mistake that I remember. And this, if this is that big mistake, I need to really just hammer it home, think about every single play. I know I already have to do that, but now I'm like... You're just losing too many games. Losing too many games off of one simple misplay that if you just thought about it, read each card, you know, it would have been a different situation. Okay. That's fine, dude. That's fine, baby. Ooh, baby. Wait, is he really going all in? You weirdo? That's not a lot of damage. I think he's just going to lose. I, th I think he just gave up. Ah. If we lost. Holy moly, that was close. Dude, that was so smart by him. He we should have not defended. Oh, come on. That that's the huge mistake. But we we're still in it. He has 4, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Okay, we're still in it. We're still in it. Attack. Attack, I dare you. Um, yeah, that sucks. Wow, we're going to lose. 
Oh no! <laughs> Hold on. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. He does not have enough! No, he does have enough. We need to not attack. Oh, I'm so mad, dude. Oh! We're one health off, dude! Oh, I'm so tilted. Oh my god, we're gonna lose! I wish you could see the look on my brain right now. Okay, that's seven. Seven, ten, he's got enough damage. So obviously do this and then sadly well, let's see. Two. It's seven, nine. Just block with one. Dude, this sucks. Please. That card we were making fun of that deals three damage to them and heals for me for three. This is the card we've been saving. I'm so sad, dude. We just- we just freaking lose! I think we just lose! He's gonna just pop the Frilled Sea Serpent's ability and just fucking win. Oh my god! I'm so tilted, dude! How did we screw that up so bad? Confidence is a slow and insidious killer. Well, thanks for watching. On the next episode, we're going to pick up some W's. Please, please, just please mercy. My brain can't handle any more of these crushing blows. Oh my god. If you enjoyed it, I don't know what's wrong with you. You're sadistic. Because that I, I sure did not enjoy that one. Uh, expect more videos of the MTG variety soon. Thanks again. That's it.